Hi guys, welcome to Bide Official and in this video, I am going to compare this with this. Okay, so this is the second and the final part of the video which I had made a year back or should I say more than a year back where I had compared these two and I had claimed that this thing is rubbish. So, as you can see, I had got a lot of comments saying that this might be useful and this might be used to convert HDMI to VGA. Okay. So before starting, let me first define some terms. So see, this is an adapter which converts uh, HDMI output into a VGA input. Okay. And before moving forward, let me tell you what an output is and what an input is. So see, this is my laptop and my laptop has a HDMI port over here and my laptop gives an HDMI output okay so output is something which is given by this by a laptop or a desktop PC or a DTH connection those are outputs okay because see, I am trying to mirror this laptop screen on my Samsung TV so my laptop will give the output and this TV will take it as an input so the signal giving out or should I say the signal coming out from my laptop is the output and this thing, signal going inside this television is the input okay so see basically we had already tested this one in the previous video i will leave the link over here or here so you can see that in the card and coming to this so what this does is this converts the hdmi output into a vga input and by the way let me repeat myself once again the hdmi output or input is in digital form whereas the VGA input or output is in the analog form this I had already mentioned in the previous video so you can check there as well so see now the problem sometimes comes is that I have a newer generation laptop and an older generation monitor okay so that I had covered in the previous video so in that case you will need this but if your problem is opposite then what so for say you have an older generation laptop but a newer generation monitor so in that case what happens is that your laptop gives out an output in VGA whereas your monitor being a newer generation one takes the input in HDMI okay so this is a new generation TV or we can consider it as a monitor as well so this does not have a VGA port this has only HDMI ports at the back and since I do not have a old generation device at this moment so I am going to use this adapter to convert this laptop into a old generation device or should I say I should I am going to simulate a old generation laptop over here so what I am going to do is I am going to convert the output coming out from this laptop that is in HDMI form to VG okay so if I didn't have to do this video so then what would I have done is that I would have simply taken an HDMI cable which has two HDMI connectors and connected one end over here and the another one in the and the job was done but let's do it the difficult way so see first let me convert this HDMI output coming out from here to VGA output so for that I'm going to con connect this one over here okay so now I have successfully converted the HDMI output into a VGA out output. So now what you have to do is that, is that you have to ignore this adapter and you have to just think that this is a very old laptop and it does not have any HDMI ports. It has only one VGA port. Okay. Now if I want to mirror this onto my new TV, then what will I do? I will need this. Okay. So this I had purchased from Amazon. I will leave the links in the description of the video. So you can go there and check it out. And see, by the way, this has everything labeled. So see, this is the VGA port and this is the input and here is the output. So this will take the input in VGA and will give the output in HDMI. And it will also need a power, okay. So you will get this power cable also along with this product. So you can use that. So see, now I am having a VGA output, okay. 
So now I will connect this over here. Okay. So see, I cannot simply connect it because both are female connectors. So I can sim I cannot simply like connect this like this. So I will need this. So this is a VGA to VGA cable and I will simply connect one end over here and this another end over here. So this part is done and I will also need to power this device because without this power this device will not work. So let me connect it over here. So this device will be powered by none other than my laptop itself. So now the device is powered as well. So now I have successfully converted the VGA output via this adapter into HDMI output. So now I will get HDMI output from here. So now what I will do is that I will take this cable, this HDMI cable and I will simply connect one end to my TV. So Okay, so it seems my TV turned off. So give me a minute. Now let me connect this. So it should go like this. Okay, so this has been connected to the TV and now I'm going to connect this other end to this adapter. And it's done. Now let me check the source. And you can see now I have a new option over here, HDMI cable. So let me go over there. So this is HDMI 2 and you can see I have successfully mirrored my laptop onto my this. So you can see I can do anything I want. So that was it about this adapter and now let us bust some myths. So there were a couple of people who were saying that this might not be worthless but this might be used as this adapter which converts a VGA signal to HDMI. Okay, so let us try that as well. I had tried the opposite way like trying to convert HDMI to VGA in the previous video and I have it linked it over here or here you can check that and in this video I am going to try it the other way so let's see. I will remove this from here and you can see the power went off because now it does not have a connection now let me remove this cable from here as well okay oops I think I removed the power cable Now I have grabbed the right cable. So now let me connect this one. So you can check in the source. I have removed this, so I am unable to access this HDMI too. Or better, let me just so see the HDMI to vanish because I had removed the cable. So now let me connect this one. Okay, so why is this so difficult? Okay, so finally I managed to connect this over here and now let me try to connect it over here. And as you can see, even after connecting this, nothing is happening. This television is not detecting the HDMI because this thing is pretty useless, this is worthless, this is a scam. This thing cannot convert a 
digital signal into analog or vice versa we need a adapter something that is shaped like this box okay or this box for the matter so guys that was all for this video and if you liked my efforts then please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching